Oh, right, let's see what this guy, see if I can do this. Look at this ripe piece of meat just sizzling on the grill. Huh. Yum, yum. Did you find that the three pin thing thing you drink? Yeah, yeah, I've done that. I'm chatting to the cat, the, Is this what um, poison looks like? The crazy guys downstairs now. See if I can get them to give me the stuff without attacking. Murdered by a psychopath who plays with fire. Where is it? Uh, it's um in the cargo bay, up a ladder. Uh, persuade. Put that down before you incinerate the entire deck. I know this ain't a toy, neighbor from above. It's a catalyst. Just like me. Keep talking. I like the sound of your voice. Huh, okay. Uh, I'm here for some parts. That's right, sir. Just the parts. We'll be in and out in a jiff. You won't even know we were here. Tennyson just keeps feeding the furnace, don't she? We're still playing with her last sacrifice out back with the crew. So, can I grab that part then? Still got no Hang on, Tom, it's two sex, mate. Sorry, 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 sorry. That's all right. He's like that. Ah, uh, fuck it. Let's just give him six hundred. it is. And ain't this just a royal sum? Uh, don't we need those gifts, Captain? <coughs> to try to <coughs> the the, the principles of the universe dictate that sometimes we must accuse others to keep from being roasted alive. You've got the run of the kingdom. Okay, hey! Here, you'll find the parts. My crew won't get in your way. You done it? Done it. Uh, there was something Lay else. It on me, oh boss. God! Why? 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 <laughs> How did you end up back here? Fuck it. Let's find out. Pounded. The crew and I racked up a debt while we were grounded. That's bureaucracy for you. <coughs> Piracy with a smile. <sighs> <sighs> Sounds like a lot happened to me. Am I your dark reflection? Shit, must be getting old. Stay here too long, and the groundbreaker drains you like a fuel tank. <sighs> be seeing you. You can come and go in my little kingdom. Just try not to piss off any of the jesters. Uh, Will do. Thank you very much, Captain. Hey, I done it. Alright. Your call. You both are tough for us. Uh, well, can I, I still do No, I can take stuff. One of the crazy elite. It's wicked crazy to live in this universe with the crazy. Well, you have a fucking load of screens. Yeah, they are pretty um extensive. But then to be fair, with the worlds that What's down yeah. here? Uh, <clears throat> Private Letty Dixon. You're the first person I've seen who talks their way past McRed. It may not sound like much, but take my word for it. Wow. <laughs> it's fucking naughty. Uh, what brings you to the back bays? June Lay sent me down to collect the parts we need to fix the radiators. McRed got me all distracted sucking fumes and <laughs> talking about the cosmos. Youth these days has no principles. Oh, shut up. I can't tell if you brought friends or if I'm still seeing things, so maybe I ought to lay off the fumes and head back to work. I can't be grab some radio parts. I'll get back hey. to my post. Oh my god. See you topside, stranger. Hey, there you go. Alright, so I've managed. To, right, I don't want to steal anything. Well, I do, but I, I don't want to get. Oh, I just made it past these guys without plasma rifle. No one saw it. It's fine. I've now got a plasma rifle. Oh. Get in. Stairs. What the fucking beast of a fucking weapon that is! What you got? 
I found this handgun. Uh, it's a light pistol Mark II, but it is the DPS on it is now that I think of it, but it's like five hundred and fourteen DPS with a hundred and three damage. People don't like worms. And then my mods on it gives us uh front time triple hit damage, twenty five percent. Uh cryo sleep gives the weapon spread twenty uh, ma minus twenty percent. It is a fucking beast mate. And I can shoot and it shoots rapidly. Right, that sounds insane. With a bleed effect. Who ate my lunch? Huh? Right, bleed effect. X up. amount of DPS. Yeah, okay, I can see why you like it. Right, ladder up here. It's the mods on it. It's most handguns. We've only got like a one mod slot, but this one's got three. I've found all the mods for it and I've uh, got the mods what I like on it with the blade effect obviously and the um, crit hit damage up to 25% which just melts everything mate, like even anything just fucking <laughs> destroys them Ah oh, see I've got a um, a light plasma machine gun that um, yeah. it, it just melts See I had them, I had the machine gun but uh, I felt like it went through the bullets too quick so I've got uh, rifles like they're not well, they're, they're called rifles but they're like single shot yeah, I'll tell you what I've got on I've got dead eye assault rifle that does base the DPS on is a 270 with 135 damage uh, Jesus. and I've got plasma rifle but does it's fully charged 189 damage with but the DPS is 114. I've got bigger mag uh, size on it, the range on it is 25% as well. And then that pistol. And then I've got a like a, a legendary fucking shotgun that does 500, it's 504 DPS with 50 damage. Mate, right, that sounds insane. It's off doing all these quests, mate, to be honest. I may have to look into that in a bit. I'm just going to give Jun Lee the parts. Build. Oh, skill points available. Hey, I've leveled up. Oh, wicked. Okay. Uh, screw uh, if it. If you like using um, melee weapons, Chris, uh, I found, I'm not going to tell you where to get for, for, for the quest. I'm going to spoil it, but I found a legendary saber thing, and I like the um, swords. Yeah. It does like, it would, what was it? it it did like a, was it a hundred damage with a three hundred and fifty DPS? I think it was. Nice. Mate, I may have to go do some stuff. Well, like I say, I want to get these radio okay. parts in sorted. Two secs. Oh, I didn't rush it, mate. It's not gotten anywhere. I didn't want to rush about because you'll not enjoy the game, you know. Hmm. And that's the thing where I'm obviously recording it and all that. It's trying to get as much of it as I can in. All right, I got the parts for radiators. What now? Good work. I'll take those. I need you to head through the large door at the far end of engineering. Take the elevator down into the machinery shed. There's a terminal in the back. Activate it when I call up into Crypt's PA. Hey. Like There's a slight manticore infestation. I get to kill some manticores. Uh, define slight. More than a few. Less than a hive. Nothing you can't handle. We were salvaging parts from the ship. Turned out there were eggs inside. They got into the radiators, and here we are. I'll make my way down there. Don't worry, Miss Sumo. We'll be super gentle with the ship. You don't got a thing to worry about. I mean, aside from fires and such. I'm genuinely heartened to hear that. Thank you. Boom. Those are pairs. What else? Alright, let's go. This thing's getting smaller. Uh, door at the end of engineering. This one. Here we go. Right, I'm just also going to equip my Enray hammer. There's a soldier on the back. Back door again. Oh well, fuck now. I've done everything on here. Obviously, I haven't put up the back. Whoa! No <laughs> fuck, man. Ah. Oh. This N-Ray hammer is insane. It's just blasting damage out to everyone. Hell. Yes! Oh, 
Who the? What the? Where is it? Oh, it's up there. I see you. Where the fuck am I taking damage from? Hey. Here should have. Oh, there we go. Go ahead and cycle the droplet pumps. And if you don't know what that means, just look for a command that says cycle droplet pumps. Right, give me two secs. I've got to wait for these fuckers to go past, Jimmy. Quick, I've got to go and see this oh. fucking bitch. Barbati. Oh, I could have shot the explodey thing and taken them both out. Oh well. Uh, cycle droplet pumps. There we go. There's literally no need for me to come back and fucking ground here. Alright, looks like I fixed the radiators. Awesome. I'm going to report that Groundbreaker has successfully arrived at the Lagrange Point, having released our cargo of prefab housing, settlers, and supplies at their intended colony in the worlds. May they prosper and expand. Now that stages one and two of the mission have been carried out, my family will take ownership of the Groundbreaker as prescribed in our contract, keeping the ship in active duty as an independent trading post to repair stock in Cargo Bay. Finish some Ferbs Orbital Blair. Right. 
Alright, so it looks like this. Alright, so it looks like this. Board tried to screw her over. Board tried to screw. <laughs> Alright, so we fixed the ship. Didn't take out too many mechanicals at the time. My boys are returning to Green. What a weight that is off my shoulders. I don't normally tolerate outsiders mucking about in my station's dust. But you're all right. The temperature should be dropping as we speak. I'll see to it that crew knows who kept us all from boiling alive. That would be me. If you've got time, I believe Edna has a comms issue that could use your attention. I've also authorized Doc and Peru to sell you our premium meds. Excellent. You aiming to send a message? If so, we best do it now while we still got time. And why would we run out of time? We headed somewhere? Me? No. But our relaying capabilities? That's on the final countdown. We're going offline in three, two, one and a half. No. Wait, I've lost track of my weeks. Maybe it was 36 or uh, sometime dire soon. Why are you about to lose comm capabilities? Our primary relay station soon to be occluded by a gas giant. Happens every 40 years or thereabouts. The event's forecasted to last for months, during which we'll lose signal to the station. That'll put the whole system in a right dire situation. We've got backup auxiliary relays, but the one currently in orbital range went offline some months ago. We can't spare people for routine maintenance. Sounds like it's time to get the auxiliary station back online. Or how are you cut off by losing one relay well, station? We wouldn't be utterly and completely blacked out. Got a fucking, but we'd do you know the weird one of the um, traffic for follow, sure. Chris. Yeah. And not really, they know that not, not the weird one. They're, 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 you know what I mean? I've just clear, got that. They oh, what? The closest relay station, which stores the right. message, then passes it along when our orbits align. It's shit though on this. Uh, the DBS is only 34 with the alien damage yet. Yeah, but it's N ray damage as well, isn't it? Mm. That stuff just. It, it said it, when I pick it up, it said the more you increase your science, the more the weapon will do damage, if you know what I mean? Yeah, it I get It goes you. up with your science perk. Skill. Yes, watch your science on. Character. Skill. Can't ships relay messages to each other? That they can and they do. <coughs> but only between ships owned by the same corporation. Sorry, Chris. No corporate right, authorized sending messages through a ship owned by a rival. And no corp will relay messages for the Wildcat freighters. Not without charging them more than they'll make in a single haul, anyway. That's why we're the message hub. The groundbreaker is neither corporate owned nor board controlled. Right. Our comms are neutral. Fucking hell, man. The others won't be in orbital range during the occlusion event. Isn't it some law of the universe? The relay I gotta rely on is, of course, the one on the fritz. Sounds like it's time to get it back online. Uh, for the second time. Hey, yeah, that was I a run. I finally got the chief to approve the budget for a diagnostic expedition. But allocating the personnel loss for sending a technical team to the relay station keeps getting denied by Junlei. Um, the chief. I could check out the relay. No official sign-off needed. I should say no, but why not? Maybe you can figure out why it's offline. I'll send you with an equipment manual. Hopefully we'll get lucky, or I'll get my Take approval in time. Hope you don't mind if I borrow that manual when you're done with it, Captain. I could do with some leisure reading. Oh, and I'll need you to retrieve a copy of the relay's backup data. I gotta forward any messages from Earth stored in the memory. Better late than never, eh? Alright. What do you mean? The relay stations orbit the edge of the Halcyon system, so they tend to receive the majority of any transmissions from Earth. I'm sure the station's got a stack of junk messages just waiting for me to sort through. It's not like they're in high demand. Most tend to be adverts on new products, meaning only folks in Byzantium can afford them. Have I spoken to Ethel yet? If you're hungry, you've come to the right place. 
I've got a fresh brown batch of sprouts. Mama, do any of it, Jenny? They're terrified to lock in the juices. How about a grinder's dozen? Where's my vape juice gone? Oh. Did it, did thing. Well, I don't want that one. Uh. Da, 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 da. Is it in my jeans? Two sets. What's sprat worst exactly? You know what sprats are? Space rats. The laboratories of Spacer's Choice found a use for this limitless frontier resource. Sprat meat is plenty tasty when properly oh, prepared. Sick. We grind them up in sausage the and part. clarify them in their own juices. Is the no force worst? I've seen that a lot. Absolutely not. Bratwurst, in all related terms, are registered trademarks of Spacer's Choice. Spore, the other meat, is a registered trademark of C&P. Everyone knows our company and theirs are nothing alike. Really? What does Terrify mean? Terrifying is a Spacer's Choice brand seed. <laughs> a mix of 13 herbs and spices, plus a dash of modern chemistry. Is it your own invention? Legally? No. The terrifying method was developed and marketed by Spacer's Choice. Between you, me, and this grinder, I've been through lean times. If there's one thing you learn on transporters, it's how to make near anything edible. Might be that this old space ham put a few words in the Action right girl. ear. And could be that Spacer's Choice liked sticking it to C&P by r and being our own special meat. That's enough talk for now. Just as well, near about time for me to go check on the trap. I mean, to mm -hmm. unload another crate of farm fresh sprats. I'll just excuse myself, right. Uh. Ping pong pong. Alright, let's go. Jesus! Let's go get this relay back up. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. That's what I'm doing. What relay GB23? Yeah. Yeah. I just don't. Well, I think I'm doing it. After my dinner, I don't know. I may have been in this fucking no, game that long. I don't know mm -hmm. where, where if I'm coming or going. To be honest. Uh -huh. Don't. I'm. I'm f very, very aware of. Oh no! Tell you what, I need a vending machine. I need to buy some. Of in fact, I need a vendor. I need to sell some crap. Fact, actually, tell you what, let's put my proxy armor back on. Yeah, see, my sneak's now gone down to seven. <laughs> right, tell you what, let's let's have a little look, see what I can do. Uh, can I put in this? already got that one. Geographic scanner. Yes, yeah, screw it. Alright, let's go get the relay. And there was something else that I had to do. I had to do. Whoa. Whoa. Right, uh, relay, relay, relay. Relay, there we go. Fast travel. Hey, 
mate. I'm loving the fact that this game is free because if if it hadn't been free, and, uh, I probably wouldn't have bought it just because of the fact that you know money and stuff. But uh, does it say fifty quid? You know? Yeah, I know, man. It's ridiculous. Isn't there a discount if you buy it on <laughs> Game Pass though? Uh, if you own Game Pass, aye. What's the point of buying it when you've got it on Game Pass? I don't understand. Because it's not always going to be on Game Pass, is it? Ah, uh, true. I'd have this game smashed in by then. Right, so there's... You can scroll entire paragraphs across that with fanatic guise of dark ink. Huh. Come on. A phrase journal, a beautiful dream. Last night I dreamed and it was beautiful. The streets of Byzantium were decorated with crimson streamers that laughed in the breeze. They asked me to take them to give them to my special ones. I gathered the crimson in my arms and felt so alive, so happy. I turned and Delilah was beside me. I did not question why my supervisor was there, her eyes so full of the emotions I know she feels but dares not show at work. <coughs> <coughs> I wrapped her neck in crimson, tying it tight as a scarf on a cold day. So beautiful. Then the crimson on her neck opened as a second mouth and began screaming, screaming. When I awoke I was scared. The dreams are so real now, and this time I recognise the face. I had to leave work early today. Every time I looked at Delilah, I heard a whisper in my mind about how beautiful she would look with the touch of crimson on her neck. Her neck. This must stop. This is not who I am. This is not who I will become. I must find help. Someone's gone a little bit crazy by the sounds of it. Fucking hell. Uh, right, so let's jump over the electromechanical stuff. No, I don't want that. I will pick that. What's that? A phrase journal. Escape. I've had to start a new journal. I cannot read my previous entries without the whispers tempting me. The whispers do not stop. Every person I see, the whispers tell me to help, help, help them. They show me the pain and longing hiding in their eyes. They tell me how these people want, no, need the gifts I can give. All it would take is a few moments with a blade. A bright, bright, bright fountain of crimson to delight the eyes and all of their pain would be gone. I could do it. I know how to help them. It gets harder and harder to stop myself. I saw a friend today, an old friend from school who's now a doctor for Auntie Cleo. I told him about my dreams. Nothing outright. Oh no, I'm not so foolish as that. I told him it was an old book I'd found and described my dreams and whispers as happening to a character in the book. I asked him how he had helped this character and he looked at me and he knew. He knew. He knew. The whispers told me to end his pain. That he'd tell. He'd tell. I got up and left quickly. I did not hurt him. Not. Not. I have to leave Byzantium. He will tell. 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 They'll come for me and lock me away. I must find a secret place. A place I can be alone. A place with no whispers. <coughs> Wait. Felix just took out a combat drone in one fucking hit. That's insane. Stupid, dude. Right, I'll stop narrating then, Tom. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was quite enjoying your little fucking storytelling there, mate. Oh, mate, I don't know. I, I seem to apparently have one of those voices because people like it when I read stuff. I don't know why. You do it. You're doing it for the stream, aren't you? So I mean, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I suppose. Okay, found a way to bypass the electricity. Yeah, I, I've been thinking about the stream. I, I, I'm 
in, I, I, I still enjoy streaming. I still enjoy doing it all. But, like, I don't know. There's other yeah, things. I, I mean, because I, 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 I like reading as well. So I, I don't know if, like, people would be interested in, like, a stream well, where that. someone reads a book. I, I don't know if that's something... Like, it's a I don't bit even know. As well, yeah, actually. I don't know what the ramifications are with it as well. Like you know, the fucking copyright and all that. My, we got one eye. Alright, fuck it. Somebody look into it, Chris. Yeah, I definitely will. Oh come on, I. Had to, oh, come on. Right, okay, so plasma rifle not so good against these guys. 